Hi guys, just wanted to show you how to clip a ferret snails. I know that there's been a lot of questions recently about how to clip them. So this is Bear and he's very shivery at the moment because it's freezing outside. So we're going to try to keep him nice and warm and keep this short. Um, so basically the importance of clipping a ferret snails, it is a hugely important task. And why it's important is because if you don't clip a ferret snails, they tend to scratch a lot, so you end up with lots of scratches all over your body when they try to climb up you or anything like that. And also, probably more importantly, they tend to snag on their bedding, on your clothes, and sometimes if, you might, if you're away, then they might get hooked on a, bit, a piece of bedding in their cage and rip their toenail off. So it's really, really important that you do clip them. Also, long nails do prevent them from walking properly. So another thing uh, to remember also is that if you leave your ferret's nails too long, then the quick, the red blood vein that runs in the ferret's nails, which I'll show you in a second, it tends to grow longer as well, so, which prevents you from clipping them shorter later on. So it is really important to clip your ferret snails and make sure that they do stay nice and maintained and short. What, what to prepare for the ritual of ferret nail clipping is, depending on how you kind of approach it, I like to prepare my Nutrigel. I go for the bribe tactic and then the nail clippers as well. So with the Nutrigel you can pretty much use any type of bribe that your ferrets like. I know that some people use ferritone or olive oil and I'll show you how to use it in a second. Nail clippers, you don't necessarily have to buy uh, specifically nail clippers for animals. A good pair of human nail clippers works just fine. Make sure you don't use blunt ones because uh, that can just rip the nail off and it's not efficient basically. So. We just want to keep this nice and short as possible. And so that's what I tend to prepare. Also, if you do cut the quick, it's a good idea to have a bit of cornstarch on hand so that if you know you do go through the quick, then you will be able to dip it in cornstarch or even soap and stop the bleeding. So I'll explain a little bit more on the quick in a second. So how would you hold a ferret for nail clipping? So there's a few different ways of holding a ferret. Um, or nail clipping in general and one of them is by scruffing them and then you might be able to kind of uh, get some of the nails that way. Another way if the ferret is particularly squirmish then you, you can get someone to hold the back end while you scruff and scruff while you uh, get at their nails. You can, I know that a lot of people also use the surprise a tactic when they're sleeping so if a ferret is sleeping um, and you kind of play around with their legs and they don't really flinch when you lift their leg and drop it then it's a good time to go for it so so you can do that as soon as they start squirming though you just stop because you don't want to cut through their quick or anything like that also if you're alone you can kind of tuck them under the arm and try to attempt that but again they can get a little bit squirmish so if you can treat them um, with if you can teach them to take to a bribe then that's probably the ideal situation to go for so my bribe is the Nutrigel they absolutely love this bear would probably be really good without the bribe anyway but um this is my favorite way I just think it's so cute so what I tend to do is pop a tiny bit of Nutrigel on their belly. He tends to munch it really quickly so I like to just smudge a bit of it into his belly so he takes time in eating it. And then I grab the clippers. So while he's munching away you could pretty much do anything to him right now and he wouldn't really pay attention to you whatsoever. You can poke him, tickle him and he's like no stop it! but he still just keeps eating. <laughs> so this is an ideal way of clipping a ferret's nails. With the nail structure, if you have a closer look, you'll actually find that there's a white bit and there's a red bit. The red bit is the blood vein that goes through the ferret's nail and that is the part that you do not want to clip so you always have to be very cautious about that because it does tend to bleed a bit. So that's the part that you just want to stay away from as much as possible. His nails are pretty good because I recently clipped them but just for 
to show you how to do it, I'll um, clip them again. So there's still a little bit that we could probably clip. If you do clip again, cornstarch or soap, some people use. Just watch out for that quick and then you'll be fine. With the clipping, uh oh, run out. See, he munches it really, really quickly. It's the worst thing when they finish and you're not. So just make sure that you do have a bit on there. Okay, so with the clipping, just grab his paw. He's used to it, he knows what he's doing. And I just tend to put it on a bit of a diagonal 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 angle. Does that make sense? <laughs> and just clip it like that. So just a nice cut straight through. See if you can see that. Just one one nail at a time. And take your time as well. Don't hurry because, again, you don't want to clip through that quick. And so nice and short, we're getting a lovely little manicure. And then with the back ones as well. Ones tend to grow a bit slower, I find, with um, ferrets. So sometimes I, you know, I don't even do them if they're really short. But you can just take the really sharp point off them. Um, and just keep that maintained just so that they don't scratch scratch you too much so there we go just nice one by one I know that some experienced ferret owners can do this really really quickly but I think it's always best to take your time and just make sure that you do it right and don't hurt them so that's all done. That was nice and simple. As you can see, he's still very occupied with it, with his fat little belly. And that's pretty much it. If you're still feeling a little bit squirmish about clipping nails, then you can ask your vet to help you out. When you go to get them checked out the first time, he might be able to show you. Also, you can go to a ferret society meetup and you can ask some experienced ferret owners to help you out there as well. And I know in some societies, the people who run the... Uh, the event are very happy to clip your nails as well. A few little tips on what you can do. Let me know if you have any questions. And yeah, so that's about it. And thanks for watching.